So in this quick video, I am going to show you an outstanding feature of the new Outlook calendar. You can easily create an event or meeting and add attendees. But here the smart part in new Outlook calendar. You can also hide all the attendees so no one can see the full list of participants. So let's jump on in and explore how it works. So here I'm on my new Outlook. First, open your calendar. Head over to the navigation section and you will see mail, calendar and other options over here. So simply click on the calendar. Now you will be directed to the calendar page. Now let's create a new event. Look at the new event on the top. You can either click on the drop down or simply use keyboard shortcut, which is control N. Now let's create a new event. Now a new event window will open. In the title field, type the subject of your meeting. Now in my case, I type review meeting for KFW new project. Now if you want this to be in the team video meeting, just turn on the toggle to teams meeting. Next, add your attendees. I will add few email address here, including my own. So I add first my email address. Second one, I also add another email address of myself and third email address. I will use my company email address. Now set the date and time. So for that, I need to click on this small calendar logo that will allow me to select a specific date. So I choose 8th of September, 2025. Now I need to commence my meeting at 11 a.m. in the morning. So I select 11 and I need to make it a one hour meeting. So I select 12. You can also choose the all day option if needed. Over here also you can check out 11 to 12 is already occupied. You can also use this option to drag to increase or decrease the meeting tenure. See I have dragged a little bit a 30 minutes window so that my meeting will be increased to 11 to 12 30. Now here is the message body. You can type your invitation detail instruction or even attach an invitation card. Anything your attendees should know to bring. Now here come the interesting part. Now on the top you will see under events there is an option which is attendees respond options simply click on the drop down by default request responses and allow forwarding is checked just below that you will see hide attendees list now simply select this option so what does it do well it hides the list of attendees from everyone except you the organizer so in my case i have added three email addresses but none of them can see who else is invited. Now, once everything is ready, click send. The meeting is now added to my calendar. Now, the invitation email is also arrived in my other email address, but the attendees list is hidden. Now, I will open my other email address. So, I will click on this mail. I go to my other email. See. This is my new email review meeting for KFW new project. Once I click on it, I open the invitation into my new window and you will see the organizer email address is already available, but the list of attendees is missing. So this is really useful feature, especially in large organization where you want to keep meeting attendees private. So if you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss my Outlook tips and problem solvers videos. Thank you for watching and have a great day.